you want. Are you good? Yep. Hey guys, Corey and I are here to show you your at-home workout for Saturday, March 28th. So we're going to start with some core work. So we're going to run through these movements and show you what to do and what not to do here. So sit up to start. You guys are going to make sure the feet stay grounded. If you need to hook your feet under something, you can, but the idea here is not to do that. So knuckles touch the ground, we come all the way up and touch the toes, either on the outside or between the legs. What we don't want to see is the feet kick it up. Okay, so I'll do another one here. You moving your feet at all or the hips raising up. So throwing and trying to move really quick. For you guys think you got great ab strength, try this, I'll let Corey demo. Oh good, he's doing the dumbbell, perfect. You guys can go elbows straight out to the side and try not to move your feet. It is extremely hard to do it that way. Just make sure you don't move the hips or bring the elbows forward real quick. So we're gonna start with 10 of those. Then we go tuck up. So we talked about that hollow body position the other day when we were outside, and we also do those hollow body rocks. So small your back stays on the ground here, and what we're looking for out of these tuck ups is to come up and pike up onto the butt. We go back out, pointing the toes, tucking up. If you guys need to scale this back, what I would do is start up on the butt, and just go out and then come here. You can also push your fingers on the ground to help balance yourselves. Then we're gonna go into B up. So that same hollow body position, we come up, I'm back down, maintaining that good V shape with the body. Finally, we're gonna do Russian twists. I'll let Cora demo with the dumbbell. I'm just gonna stay up here, kind of balance on my butt very slowly in a frame position. I'm gonna twist from one side to the other and it's 20 total, right? So you're going to go through five rounds of that. The idea would be to go unbroken on each section of the abs. So if you have to break between movements, that's fine. But try to do all 10 reps unbroken. Okay, your next section. We're going to do dumbbell presses. Now, I'm just using lighter weight here to make Corey feel better. But I'm going to do these with a neutral grip. And he's going to take a grip with the dumbbells facing you guys. So we're going to do 10 reps. Strong lockout. Full range of motion. Nice and slow. We're gonna avoid the bro rep thing here. Okay, so a full range of motion. Go as heavy as you guys can for sets of 10. I know it's not 10 reps, we're gonna move on here. So dumbbell curls, alternating. Hammer curls or supinating curls where you guys twist. Totally up to you, but it's 20 reps total, 10 on each arm. Five sets there, and then you guys will go immediately into renegade rows. So this will be the challenging part of your workout for tomorrow. So. The key here is not to wobble at all. So you want to make sure to maintain a good plank. If you need to take a little wider foot base, go ahead and do it. So you're going to bring all the weight onto that one side, row, go back and forth. Five sets of 10 there as well. I'm telling you guys, 35 pounds can be pretty hard for this. So lock in, good form. Try not to rip the dumbbells off the ground. Really focusing on the upper back muscles and maintain good strong core throughout. That's your workout for tomorrow morning. Tune in at 10.30 to do it with us.